You're watching BTV. 125 years ago, the Klondike area of the Yukon was the epicenter of a flourishing gold rush. Today, it's entering a new age of modern day exploration, led by White Gold, a company with a district scale flagship project by the same name. In a little more than a year, White Gold has defined a world class resource, and management insists it has only scratched the surface. So the White Gold project is made up of a couple different ore zones. Uh, the Golden Saddle is the largest in total, 2.1 million ounces, on average grade of about two grams per ton, primarily open pitable. We've also made a couple of very significant new discoveries in the last couple of years. Uh, probably the most significant one is on our Betty property. That's contiguous to Newmont's coffee project and Western Copper and Gold's enormous uh, casino porphyry. So this is pure elephant country. We think those are company maker opportunities and we're really excited to do some more work down there as well. And we're still finding some placer creeks with gold right on the bank. So that's what I can't still believe about the Yukon. It, it's that virgin of territory. So if we we're playing baseball, we're probably in the third or fourth inning here. But White Gold isn't the only company that sees a golden opportunity. Yeah, White Gold's very fortunate to have two of Canada's best gold mining companies as partner. Agnico Eagle is one of them. In addition to capital, their expertise has been a wonderful relationship. Kinross Gold is our other partner. I think that really speaks volume to the type of opportunity that we have and why this company is so unique. In addition to this support, White Gold will soon benefit from a key government initiative. This part of the Yukon has been placer mined for quite a long time. So there's a significant network of placer roads, which helps access the different properties. On our property, we have a large camp and an airstrip. However, what's very significant, unique, and will be a complete game changer for our company is a program known as the Resource Gateway Project. This has been sponsored by the territorial and federal governments where combined they're investing hundreds of millions of dollars to upgrade infrastructure and create new infrastructure specifically to support mining and exploration. In our area, there's a Northern Access Gateway Road that's being planned. This road will give us road access to almost the entire portfolio. It makes almost anything you find economical and that is critical to the development of a camp. While it's still early days, White Gold sees a development process similar to the highly successful Timmins Gold Camp and believes there are decades of opportunities ahead.